Now let us have, take a look at the accounting entries. <clears throat> In the income statement, tax computed as per accounting profit is taken. <clears throat> okay. The amount of tax that the business is willing to pay as per its books. So, as per, as per net income in our books, as per net income in the, in the books of accounts, in the income statement. Okay. If tax as per accounting profit is $10,000, while the tax determined by IRS is $9,000, what do you think will be the accounting entry? Our tax expense is $10,000. Income tax expense is $10,000. However, tax payable according to IRS is only 9,000. The difference is my liability because I think we should pay 10,000. We are paying only 9,000. Therefore, deferred tax liability of 1,000. So, obviously, now you know what will happen if, if tax as per accounting profit is 15,000, then what will happen? If tax as per accounting profit is 15,000, tax determined by IRS is 18,000. What does it mean? Expense is 15, expense is 15, but we will pay 18, so we will end up having an asset of 3,000. Yes or no? Income tax expense is 15,000, but payable is 18,000. So we will pay basically 18,000. This difference is actually prepaid, therefore, this is called a deferred tax asset. This is prepaid and this is outstanding to be paid in future to be recovered in future deferred tax asset will be recovered in future deferred tax liability will be paid in future <clears throat> how do they appear in the financial statements Deferred tax asset will appear on the asset side. Deferred tax liability will appear on the liability side. This may be deferred tax asset or liability may be current or non-current based on the classification of the underlying asset or liability. Okay. So, if the fixed asset, fixed asset, if the difference is due to uh, depreciation on fixed assets, then it would be a, a, a non-current deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability. If there is no underlying, then it will be on the expected reversal period. Do I expect to uh, reverse this in the next year? Then it's current. If after more than a year, then it is non-current. Under IFRS, here comes a small difference between US GAAP and IFRS. All deferred taxes are non-current and disclosure note for Lower than 12 months or greater than 12 months has to be made. <clears throat> and IFRS, all deferred taxes are non-current. Current deferred taxes may be offset. That is, a direct tax asset may be offset against a direct tax liability. Clear? So, deferred tax asset in the balance sheet. Asset side, deferred tax liability on the liability side may be current or non-current. Under IFRS, of course, everything, all deferred taxes are non-current. Only a disclosure note is made as to what is within 12 months and what is beyond 12 months. Current deferred taxes may be offset. In the income statement also, we find out the net profit and we can uh, accounting profit minus the tax expense. Now, this, this, this tax may be allocated among in the portion of income from continuing operations, from discontinuing operations and from extraordinary items. So, it may be split depending on the section to which it belongs in the income statement. <clears throat> 